everyone, it's Dr. Sandman. I hope that all of you are doing incredibly well. Welcome back to another Mug Mutterings videos. If you're unfamiliar with these videos, it's where I basically um, get to show you my mug collection one at a time and talk about whatever is grieving me. I do apologize about the fan if it's a little noisy. It's just so hot. Uh, we're going through a heat wave here in New York, so you'll have to bear with me. I just forgot. It's this uh, little um, witchy eyeball type mug. I, I wouldn't say it's an evil eye, maybe, I don't know. Um, and the blanc du jour is water because I'm quitting soda and it's been rough out here. Today's story is about um, an evil, evil man. Um, <laughs> so that's why. Um, before before I rip into this guy and tear him a new one, uh, let me first uh, speak to his credit and say he was a nice person. He, uh, he, he was a kind person, he was just fucking crazy. So today uh, I'd like to talk about um, my one of my college um, art professors. Um, I will not say what his real name was, but we called him Yonkers because his name reminded us of the word um, and also because he was fucking bonkers. So um, that's what we all call him. Still call him to this day. We, we, I don't think we've ever called him by his real name unless it was to his face. Um, not that it was a secret that we called him Yonkers, we called him that in front of him, but like when we were speaking to him about him, like, you know, in the hypothetical, we would say his name. Um, but we call him Yonkers. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's the uh, victim of today's conversation. Um, no, I was the victim. We were all the victim. When I was in college, um, I had graduated and I actually came back for another semester to take two classes that I had already taken before um, because I wasn't happy with the grades that I got. Um, I didn't fail, but I wasn't happy with the grades, uh, so I retook them with the intent of getting an A. Keep that in the back of your mind during this video. I took this class. It was... I, I don't even remember the name of the class. They all blur together. When I took the class the first time, um, I enjoyed it, but I was undergoing a lot of stress. So I was like, oh, it'll be fine this semester. Getting the A will be no problem. Psych. He said at the beginning of the semester that if we were able to somehow weave uh, Star Wars into any of our projects, he would give us extra credit for them. Um, so if that explains the kind of person he is or helps to illustrate who this, who this man, who this enigma is. Um, hope that helps. Our first project was one that I had the first time that I took the class. It was, it was a fun project. So basically what you had to do was you had to pick an idiom and you had to illustrate it. Um, the first time we took it, we could, I took a class, I could choose, we could choose, um, any idiom that we wanted. This time around, he had to pick. Um, he picked three that we all had to choose from. So we all had repeating idioms, which I thought was stupid. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, the three, it, I don't even remember what the three were. So I remember one of them, oh, one of them was milking the cash cow. Um, another one, which is the one that I picked, was working the graveyard shift. So if you don't know an idiom, it's, uh, I'm not explaining it, but <laughs> look it up, Google is free. I picked working the graveyard shift. And so what I chose to illustrate for this class was a um a skeleton stripper um working the graveyard shift um so i drew a, a skeleton pole dancing um in the graveyard and it had a silhouette around it so it was in the shape of like um a, a tombstone and there were ghosts watching <laughs> so you know and uh i was really excited about this project i really liked it i thought it was good um all my friends were hyping me up about it and then uh, the first day happened where we got our grades back and we were all thoroughly disappointed. Everyone in the class, every single person in the class was unhappy with their grade. Um, and I <laughs> was furious. I got a C and I want to know what the fuck was up, yonkers. We all got a chance to, oh, before I, before I, before I get into the grade, he said something bullshit. So he said to us that uh, something that was going to help um, help him grade was that he was going to bring in people. These are his words: people off of the street to review and critique our um, our art. 
he, and we, I think we asked him to, we, somebody said, excuse me, Yonkers, what are their credentials? And he said, they have none. <laughs> and we said, well, why are you, who are they? He goes, they are random people who are not artists who do not participate in this field. And they said, we all said, why are they, what makes you think they're qualified to critique our art then if they have no background in art? And he said, these are your future clients. Your future clients are, are going to be hiring you because they don't have an art background and they want somebody who does to design things for them. Um, which I, I sort of get that approach, but also what? So he said that he brought in people off the street um, <laughs> to critique our artwork. He made us all leave. Um, I, I was not there that day. The day that we handed everything in, um, I was not there because I was sick. Um, but everyone said they made, he made them all leave for an hour. And somebody who was not in our class but did talk to us often said that he walked by the class, looked in the window, and saw that it was just him sitting by himself. So we think he made it up. Interesting detail, I, so that would mean that I brought in my work late. I brought it in the next day that I showed up to class. Um, when I was feeling better and he said he said that he did it again that he brought in the same people to critique my work uh, on a day where we didn't have class and I don't fucking believe it <laughs> we got our grades back and I gotta see I was very mad so he he called up somebody um, he wasn't doing it in any particular order he called up somebody to discuss their grade um, and then I sat up right next to the desk I wanted to talk to him about what the fuck that C was about and um he said okay who's next and this kid sitting across me stood up and I told him sit down and I got up and I um uh put myself in front of him I said why is it a C um and he told me I, I shit you not he he said that the reason why he gave me a C is because it wasn't sexy enough he goes, the skeleton, you know, you could have given it some, some hair, some, some jewelry, some heels, you know, maybe a boa or something. And I, and I think, I think these are the words I said to him. I, if I didn't say these to him, I said it to everybody else who I was complaining to. I said, it's a skeleton. You literally can't get any more naked than that. I don't know what else you want from a Yonkers. This was a, a, a theme with him for uh, future projects for other students. He kept saying it's not sexy enough, um, which I think is a problem. I think this man was senile. I think that's an important detail to add. He was an older, he was an older gentleman, so I think he he was senile. Maybe, maybe. He also said this. He said that um, with the people that he allegedly brought in, they said that they couldn't tell what the shape around it was. The the silhouette that I put, um, kind of the vignette. And they said they didn't know if it had any kind of religious symbolism or what. And everybody else I showed it to said that's obviously a fucking headstone. <laughs> I don't know what, what they're talking about because it had like a, a vague cross symbol at the top, but the rest was rounded and it looked like a headstone. Oh, he also said uh, that they could not tell what, um, what idiom it was. Which I thought was bizarre because when I heard that I asked five people who are not art majors and not in my class my friends What idiom do you think it is? And I explained to them what an idiom was because most of them didn't know um, Two of them without needing any further Information said oh is that like working the graveyard shift? I said funny you should mention that because it actually is and the other three people um, who couldn't tell I said okay these are the three idioms that they were which one out of the three do you think it was and they said all said working the graveyard shift it's obvious I said thank you um, but the people could the alleged people that he brought in couldn't tell what idiom it was even after him saying what the three idioms that they got to choose from were allegedly he had this thing he had this problem this guy's fucking crazy he, he most, by the way, for, for background, he most, from what we knew of uh, his work, he mostly illustrated cars. Um, he kept the whole class telling us to trace images. If you're not, 
oh, oh wait, well, first of all, this is a senior level class. This is a, not a freshman course, senior level, uh, senior college level class. And he, he told us to trace. He told us find pictures that work for your project and trace over them. And we told, we asked him directly, we told him directly, we said, sir, that's illegal. <laughs> if you, if you get caught tracing someone's pictures, even if it's a, a photograph, not um, art, that is their, still their artistic property and you can get sued for that. And if it's a picture of a person, God forbid, you can get sued for using their likeness without their knowledge and permission. And he said, no, you're fine. He looked us in our faces and said, no, that won't happen. You're fine. You're good. And we're like, are you fucking serious? And so he, he kept giving bullshit grades. Oh, he, one, one of my friends asked him before handing in a project uh, that was in a binder. They said, hey, this is a binder that I already have. It's got a few scuffs on it. Um, is it okay if I use this is, or is this going to bring down my grade? He said, yeah, that's fine. And then when they got their grade, he had brought it down an entire letter grade because um, it had scuffs on it when he told them that it was fine and it wouldn't affect their grade. We eventually had so many problems with him that we told the dean and we told the dean that like, hey, this is, he's telling us to trace other people's photographs um, and art. And we know that that's not allowed. He also, here are some of the critiques of our projects and we think that they're bullshit. We think that they are opinionated and not um, objective whatsoever. They're all like what he think, oh, he, he kept like saying, oh, this is what I would have done if, um, if I did, I would have made it like Star Wars and I'm not shitting you. This is a real person that was telling us like, well, what you could have, you could have, you could have dressed up the skeleton. Uh, you could have made it Star Wars themed easily. And it was just like, these are real critiques. These are all opinions. These are all very um, uh, subjective opinions and not genuine critiques that he gave us. And we told the Dean, uh, multiple of us uh, filed, um, uh, like at least five of us filed um, uh, official complaints for him and the next day in class he walks in a broken man he looks like he was just told that he lost his job and he said so I've heard some of the um, complaints about this class and the Dean spoke to me and I did see where he was coming from this guy looked brokenhearted. He looked like he he looked like somebody had kicked his puppy, um, and he said, um, "No more tracing. Um, I won't be encouraging that anymore." And then he did. Class is definitely going to take a different approach now. And it was the same bullshit. It was the same. Oh, it's not sexy enough. Oh, it could have been Star Wars. Like <laughs> weird shit. And then the class got moved um, online because then the whole uh, panorama thing happened. And he, we, he expected us to wake up at 8 a.m. because that's when the class started and email him just the word here and that, he, that would be marking us for attendance. We did not do Zoom classes. We did not do any um, video calls or anything for that class. Um, and yeah it, we, we just had to email him saying here and he counted that as attendance um and he did not get back to us until 4 p.m every day so that was unnecessary we did not need to do that so early because he because he wasn't awake obviously he didn't get back to us until four in the afternoon and he was giving us another um project to do and he said and i highly encourage you all to trace for this and if you're thinking that you, uh, how are we going to trace? We don't have a light box. We're not at school. You could you you already have one. It's your computer. Use your computer as your light box. And I'm just like you're fucking stupid, man. We're not tracing. None of us traced um, because we're not stupid <laughs> and we're original and we're capable of making good art that doesn't need to be traced. This man was such a menace. So it came time to. Uh, get our grades at the end of the semester and um, 
most of the people in the class um, were not shooting for an A like I was. They, they wanted to pass and they wanted to do a good job, but they overall didn't care about getting an A. Um, and uh, there were a couple of them who just did not give a fuck at all. They wanted to pass and that was it. Beyond that, they did not care about the class. And um, so I got my, my fucking grade back and it was a B. I got an, uh, an A in the other class that I was retaking, but I got a B in this class and I was furious. And I asked everybody else, I said, guys, what did you get out of curiosity? And they said, oh, we all got A's. And I said, are you fucking kidding me? Every one of my friends was like, yeah, I got an A, he gave me an A. And they had, not, because they didn't care about the class because the guy was psychotic and because the class they, they just needed to pass it. Um, they said, I said, I gotta be. They said, that's weird because we didn't hand in entire projects. Um, uh, my one friend said, I didn't hand in an entire project and I didn't hand in any of the thumbnails the entire semester and multiple of my projects were late. There's, there's a chunk of work that counts for a chunk of my grade that's just missing, that's, that just he never got and then a lot of it was late and I got an A. But you handed in every single project on time with the exception of that one, but that was because you were sick and you handed it in basically on time the next time that you were in. That's bizarre. And then they said, if you want, you can use my name when you tell the Dean because you should and that's a problem. So I did, I told the Dean, I said, hey, there are students in this class who got A's who didn't hand in um, final projects, multiple final projects, and they all got A's, whereas I handed in everything, and I got a B. Can you talk to this fucking dude? And he did, and he and the teacher gets back to me, um, and he says, yeah, the dean talked to me. I'm, I'm gonna work something out. Um, we'll, we'll get you your A. So his solution? I had to revise a project that I already got an A on. Not one of the ones that he thought was lacking. He, th he was like, revise one of the ones that I think was the best. Sure. And I have an entire new project for you. You have to do more work than everybody else in the class um, was assigned if you want to get an A. You have to do, you. Everybody else was assigned five final projects and got an A for handing in three or four. You can't get an A until you hand in six, which is more than everybody else was assigned. I wanna give this man the bill for my therapy. If I wasn't looking for um, like the A because I, I was getting it for a purpose. I wasn't just doing it just to do it. I, I was uh, planning on looking into other colleges and I wanted to improve my grade. Um, if it weren't for that, I would have said, fuck you, man. I, I, I would I would have told the dean, I, I said, look at this. Are you serious? Is that, do you think this is fair? <laughs> do you think this is, has any integrity? This is ridiculous. Um, but because I needed that A, I did an entire new project after grades had been given out and after the semester had ended and I revised one of my old projects and I got my A. Um, this guy, I, I have waking nightmares about this guy. Thank you so much for listening to my grief. Um, hope you enjoyed it. College is a scam. Don't do it. Um, follow your dreams, make art. Uh, I'll leave all my social media and links in the description below. And I hope that you have a great day because I had a horrible time at college. Love ya.